What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you what is this mobile first thing. You know, CSS or a mobile first code or mobile first design, mobile first. So the word is exactly what it is. Um, you focus first on mobile and then you go up from there. So right now I have this HTML that um, I need to add some CSS. So what I do now is focus on the CSS for mobile phones and then after that tablets and then after that laptops and then after that you can go to like big monitors and stuff like that. Today a lot of people are using phones um, and it's growing every day so it's super important that you know how to code for mobile and you focus on mobile first. So I'm gonna do something very quick. This is gonna be an easy tutorial. But right now I have this, as you can see, some images of cats. Um, I'm using a random um, generator. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna show you if you wanna use it, it's very funny. So if I reload this page, you can see a different cat and now I'm gonna reload again, another one and another one. And you can keep going and going, right? So pretty cool, that's what I'm doing here. So right now, just simple HTML, I have a container and then I have a div with a, a um, class of cats and then inside those I have all the cats. So you can see cat, cat content, cat image and then the image is inside that and then H2 with the name, whatever you want. And that's about it. So now I need to make sure I code all the CSS and I'm gonna start coding mobile first. All right, so now I'm gonna go to the CSS Everything I'm gonna write now, I mean, all the CSS that I'm gonna create now is gonna be from zero pixels to seven, six, eight pixels, okay? 768 pixels, so I'm gonna add a comment here. So this is from zero pixels to 768. Now, this number, the 768 pixels is just a common number that a lot of people use and companies. You can use whatever number you want, okay? It, it doesn't have to be this specific number, All right? I'm just using some common numbers now, but um, those breaks, they are not like, you need to use this break. No, you can use whatever you want, okay? So let's start with the container. Um, actually, let's go here, because if not, we're not gonna see a change. So let's go ahead and change this to, I don't know, let's say something like that. I'm gonna change it to 100% so we can see it. All right, I think that's good. So container, uh, max width, I'm just gonna put 800 pixels for now. The margin, zero and automatic, left and right, that way centered. And I'm gonna go next with the cats diff. So cats, I'm gonna use display flex. We're gonna be using a lot of flex here. And the flex uh, direction is gonna be column. Let's save that. Let's go ahead and do cats dot cat, which is like every single cat is a, the class of cat. Let's go ahead and do, um, let's add a little bit of margin to the bottom. It's right here. Let's add 50, 15 pixels. Let's add some padding. And the width is going to be uh, 100%. All right, let's save it. And now we can start seeing a little bit of style. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. This is going to be cats and cat cat content. All right, and now we need to start kind of changing colors and stuff. So let's do background. This is like a 
almost white color. Display flex. The flex direction is gonna be row because um, I want the, for mobile, I want the image to be on the left side and the name is gonna be on the right side. So it's gonna be a row instead of a column inside this cat content. So let me go back to the HTML so we can understand. So we have this cat content and inside the cat content we have cat image and h2. So I want those to be display flex and as a row. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and um, add something else, a line. You know what, let's save it. Let's see how it looks. There you go, so that's what I want. I want the image on the left, name on the right. And now I'm, I'm, I wanna center the name in the image, so align items, center. There you go, all right. And now let's add a little bit of padding, a little bit of space there. We've got some padding there. All right, and now this is too close. So let's make sure that we have some space and the image is huge. We need to fix that too. So cats, cat, cat image. Display flex, align items, center. Width is gonna be 100%. And remember cat image is the container of that image. So there's an image here and the cat image is like that diff that is wrapping that image. Okay. So now max width, I wanna make sure I is, um, let's do 150 pixels, which is not huge. And I think it's good for mobile, it's a good size for that specific um, section. And margin right, that way we have some space from the, like the name and the image. Let's save that, see how it looks. There you go. So I think that's a lot better. So I'm, I wanna make sure that the image has a, math width, a max width too. So let's go cats, cat and image. Max width, 150 pixels, save it. And now the H2, I wanna change the font family. So let's go ahead and do cats, cat, H2, font family. Um, I have the family here, I'm gonna just copy and paste it. There you go, and the font size is gonna be 2EM. There you go. So that looks good. I think maybe the font size can be a little bit, let me see, 1.8. You can play with it. Yep, I think that's better. Um, it looks good for mobile. I think we're good. And we can now focus on tablet. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a comment. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is from 768 pixels to 992 pixels. Again, 992 pixels, just a common breakpoint. All right, it's gonna be at media. Min width. Seven hundred sixty-eight pixels. Okay. Remember, this is from seven hundred fifty-eight pixels to nine hundred ninety-two. But the nine hundred ninety-two is because I know that my next breakpoint, like, I'm just gonna copy and paste it, put it here. The next one is gonna be nine ninety-two. Okay. And then the next one 
is gonna be um, I'm the common one of the common ones is up 1200 pixels all right so I have these breakpoints that's good this is more for tablet okay all right so 768 pixels to 992 is more like a tablet and then this one is more like a laptop and then after that this is like monitors big monitors right so let's go ahead and work for tablet now all right let's start with cats and something that i want to do here i just want to change this to responsive let's go ahead and do um yeah let's go i need i need more space so let's go ahead and do this All right, I think we're good now. All right, cats, and we're gonna do flex direction row. Let's save that, see if it works. There you go. And now justify content is gonna be spaced evenly. All right, now we have this space even i don't know if you can notice a lot but all right and now we're gonna do cats cat cat content all right flex direction it's gonna be column like items centered Justify content center. The width is going to be 100% now. And the height 100%. Boom, there you go. So what we did here is first we actually changed the cat. So the whole thing, instead of being column like, like this, now it's a row, as you can see here. And now... Um, inside the cat content we change the direction from row because row is like this to column and now it's like a column so image is at the top instead of the left and now the name is at the bottom right and then we change the width to 100 percent and the height to 100 percent. that way it takes the whole thing right so let's keep going Cat's cat and cat image. We're going to do justify content center and margin zero. All right, cats, cat, and this is the H2. So let's go ahead and do um, a little bit of space here at the top because it's like, so let's do margin top 20 pixels. There you go. So I know that this is weird when it looks like this is not like a line. That's because of the images, right? These different sizes. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to fix that. I'm not going into that. Flexbox can, Flexbox can help. Another thing that you can do is add um, the container of this image. You can do a maximum height, for example or you can actually um, put the image and put an overflow that way it doesn't get out of that specific height. So a couple of things that you can do to fix it, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. All right, I think we're good with the actually ver tablet version. This looks good for tablet. So now we, we're going to the desktop or laptop. So let's go ahead, cats cat and cat image this i want to change it to a max width of 100 percent. that way the image is big like a big version of the image let's go ahead and do this let's do cats actually let's do something like this because i want the same thing for cat 
cat's cat and cat image and the image inside so I want this to be max width 100% and it didn't work of course because of a typo as always um, cat's cat all right let's save it now and there you go now the image is 100% um, so is you know bigger it's taking more of the space here it doesn't have a max width of I think it was 150 pixels so um, I think I'm good I'm good there's a container here so what I want to do for uh, if you have a huge monitor and it's uh, more than um, 1200 pixels it doesn't have to be huge but you know a big monitor or a big laptop so I want to change the container max width let's do 100 pixels so if we go up we need more space here let's, let's go ahead and keep going here there you go so I don't know if you can see here these numbers up here changing so it goes to well, 1200 boom container going to 100% um, percent max width the image is still 100% and now you can see how the breakpoints are working so one of the problems is that people start here on the desktop or um, you know like the big version the large version of the website and then at the end they focus on mobile and then um, most of the time on mobile it doesn't look good because that's the last thing you're doing you want to get done with you want to finish the website and what you do is just start stacking everything um, image on top text on the bottom taking a lot of space people have to scroll a lot and you don't think about it it's the last thing you do but right now here I did I did it was the first thing I did so I was thinking about it how it looks the best way it can look on mobile of course he, this is just an, just an example it can look a lot better like the spacing here I can fix it. it doesn't have to be like that and all that but you get the idea of mobile first all right and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye